Okay. Good morning. We are going to see about the scapular humeral rhythm. First, we will see about the components of the scapular humeral rhythm. First, the sternoclavicular joint, that's the AC joint, acromioclavicular joint, the AC joint, and the scapular humeral articulation, and the glenohumeral joint, scapulothoracic joint. By definition, what is scapular humeral rhythm? Full range of shoulder motion normally is a combination between the motion in the glenohumeral and the scapulothoracic joint. That they are meaning the full shoulder mo motion is a combination between the glenohumeral and the scapulothoracic articulation. Okay. So, normal rhythm is the 2 is to 1 ratio. For, uh, this means each 2 degrees of shoulder abduction or flexion. That means each 2, two degrees of shoulder forward flexion or abduction is equal to 1 degree of scapular upward rotation. In this way, each 2 degree this moves, the shoulder joint moves, scapula will be two, 1 degree upwardly rotated. Yeah. Then, the full uh, shoulder ROM is, is abduction or flexion range is 180 degree, which means it is a combination of between 120 degree shoulder abduction or flexion plus 60 degrees of yeah, 60 degrees of scapular thoracic joint upward rotation. I will repeat it again. 180 degrees of shoulder abduction or flexion is equal to 120 degrees of glenohumeral joint abduction and 60 degrees of scapular thoracic joint upward rotation. Okay. But now we will see the relationship between the AC joint, AC joint and the ST joint and the glenohumeral joint motions. I have combined everything here. So, 180 degrees of shoulder abduction, shoulder forward flexion or abduction is equal to 120 degrees of glenohumeral joint abduction and 60 degrees of scapular thoracic joint upward rotation. So, 60 degrees of scapular thoracic joint, we put it separately, is equal to 30 degrees of sternoclavicular joint elevation and 30 degrees of AC joint, that is acromioclavicular joint upward rotation. So, next we will see the picturization. So, 2 degrees of glenohumeral motion and 1 is 1 degrees of scapular elevation. Okay. I don't want to complicate with all these things. Glenohumeral external rotation, 180 degrees of shoulder abduction. So, until 90 degrees, it is a flow, pure glenohumeral joint movement. So, beyond 90 or 120 degree only, the scapula and scapula thoracic joints comes into action. It's an another picturization for you. Thank you. Bye, physio startup.